Put an optimistic cynic guy. Shit, ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to make us this violent and bitches they all. Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's D-Boy Classics, and with today's video, you can probably tell from the title, it is my build showcase. For those that don't know, I do have an all-red pie chart uh, center build, and really, it just, uh, like, it just made, mainly did all the defense, you, if you can't tell from like the uh, mixtape and so forth and all the gameplay I put out beforehand. And uh, I know it's getting close to a next gen, everybody just probably just waiting for it. I'm still gonna put out uh, some videos here and there until I do get next gen, and when I do get next gen, be this not videos left and right but besides from that i'm just gonna get to the next clip where i i'll put together the build i'm gonna let y'all just watch that and see if y'all are interested in making a build yourselves but yeah i'll see i'll see y'all later in the video man Alright y'all, so moving past the build creation, now let's get into the actual stats for the build. So you see right here, I have my 99 glass cannon locked down center. And um, how should I really start this? I'll start with the, uh, I'll go left and right, I'll start with the finishing stats. So you can see right here, at max, my close shot is 89, my driving layup is a 61, my driving dunks is 68, my standing dunks is a 99, and my post hook is a 34. That's really it for the finishing. Moving on to the shooting, my mid-range shot is a 37, so is my three-point shot. My free throw is a 56, and my post fade is a 34. Moving on to the playmaking, my pass accuracy is a 67, my ball handling is a 38, and my post moves to the 71. And lastly is the defensive rebounding. You can see right here, these are probably the highest stats. My interior defense is a 99, my perimeter defense is a 60, my ladder of quickness is also 60. My steals are 75. My block, offensive rebound, and defensive rebound are all 99. And that's really it for the stats. For the physical stats though, my speed is a 63, my acceleration is a 58, and my strength is a 88, verticals is a 66, and my stamina is a 98. So given given the chance that you do get like a, a gym rat or the Gatorade boost or whatever you're doing to boost those to the stats, reality my speed is actually a 67 my acceleration is a 62 my strength is a 92 my vertical is a 70 and my stamina is a 99 that's really all that is for that so next we're gonna move on to the badges all right y'all so next up right here you can see is the badge upgrades this is not the actual badges themselves i'm gonna go over that in the upcoming clip i'm about to show you guys but i do want to make sure y'all see the actual numbers i have for each category so for the finishing um badges i have a total of 12 upgrades upgrade points or potential upgrades for my shooting badges i have one my playmaking badges i have two and lastly for my defense and rebounding i have 30 so that gives you one but besides that let's get on to the actual badges starting off with the finishing one all right y'all so to begin with my badge loadout you can tell right here we're gonna start with the finishing badges you see i have four gold finishing badges and um to begin with the list I have back down punisher, drop stepper, slithery finisher, and contact finisher. So the reason why I have back down punisher and drop stepper is basically just in case if I do need to ISO, it makes it a lot easier for myself. That's all that really is. So if I get a mismatch or if I get somebody who can't really play good defense, I'm able to utilize these badges to its best potential I can. Obviously, I don't have it on Hall of Fame, but gold is just, just as good, I guess. So for those who can't get on Hall of Fame, so I'm able just to back them down or just drop step them and get an easy bucket. Next up is Slithery Finisher. Everybody know what this badge is about. Basically, it just makes it easy for me just to get to the uh, 
get to the rim and all that. So not too much explanation on that. And lastly, I have contact finisher. Basically, it helped me just uh, lay up and dunk easier and be able to get the highlights. If I dunk on somebody, I put them on the ground and so forth. Always looking for highlights. It's good for the mixtape. So, But next up, we're going to go into the shooting badges. All right, y'all. So next up, you can see right here is my shooting badges. You can tell I only have one badge and it's only bronze. Obviously, the build, the build is not meant for shooting, so I'm not going to get no shooting badges, but at least I'm able to get one, you know, but besides from that. <laughs> but you can tell right here, um, I did choose uh, Slippery Off Ball. The reason why I chose Slippery Off Ball is basically to help with my pick and roll potential. And it does stack up for those who didn't know. If you do have pick and roll, pick and roller and uh, Slippery Off Ball together, you move pretty you move pretty fast. I'm not going to lie to you. I seen um, someone who who put more into it their uh, shooting, so they're able to get like like the gold shooting badges as an inside build, just for the lead. Just put the uh, slippery off ball on gold, and they move extremely fast. Like they move really fast off the pick and roll. They Hall of Fame brick wall with gold slippery off ball and uh, Hall of Fame what pick and roller. That's a dead. I ain't gonna lie. That's a deadly combination. Like that's really, really deadly. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people sleep on that. Besides that, I'm not gonna get on to that. Let's move on to the next uh, with the playmaking badges. All right, y'all. So next up, you can probably already tell is the playmaking badges. You can tell right here. Um, I have two potential upgrades, and I just put it on just to have two bronze badges. And the two badges that I did choose is a uh, post spin technician and quick first step. Once again, it goes back to my finishing. Um, if I'm able to have these two badges on, my ISO game's a little bit, little bit better. And it says I'm able to just like, size up people, triple threat, and so forth, and just hit them with a post spin and just get them with that little speed boost from a uh, quick first step. There's not really too much with this, not too much in depth. So, but the next part with the uh, defense and rebounding, I'm gonna go into heavy detail with that. So, let's move on to that part. All right, y'all. So lastly, to wrap things up with my badge layout. We're gonna get into the defense and rebounder badges. So you can tell right here, I have seven Hall of Fame and one silver. So to begin with our first badge, which is a uh, box, that's the silver one. The reason why I have box equipped basically doesn't make it more difficult for my opponent just to get a better position. That's all that really is. Box is a good badge. I do rotate it between um, chase down artists and interceptor here and there, but as of recently, I've just been playing with box. So getting to our Hall of Fame badges, our first Hall of Fame badge is rebound chaser. And everybody knows, Rebound chase is pretty essential for any center. Basically, just get all the boards. If you don't have a Hall of Fame or you don't have a good rebounding, um, chances are you're going to get horsed. That's really all that is. <laughs> you're probably going to get horsed by a lot of people, especially since people are going all uh, glass, glass clean takeover. It's, yeah, that's all I got to really say about that. Next up is my, personally, my favorite badge in the game is uh, Run Protector. And uh, if y'all been watching me for a while, y'all already know how Run Protector is for me. Uh, I'll be look, I'll be just looking for blocks all the time. They look for highlights, just that. If I'm able to get a snatch block, that's even better. Just they get the snatch block put on the mixtape. That's all it really is. But also, uh, the benefit with run protector is um, if you do block somebody, you get a major chunk of a takeover as the as like the uh, shot blocker and um, your teammates also get a good chunk of a uh, takeover as well. So it's a big, it's a major dub in that sense. Next up, uh, I have tireless defender. And uh, I know people are gonna disagree on this, but I feel like Tyler's Defender is a very underrated badge this year. Oh, I feel it probably been like that for a while, but I've really been playing with it a lot lately, and uh, it does help a lot. It really do. Um, it really helps if I'm playing hands up defense. I don't lose as much stamina, so people it makes it hard for people just like, to bully me in the paint, especially if they're trying to ISO me. Also, too, uh, if I do go for a shot or a steal attempt. Chances are I'm probably gonna get through with it because the I have a stamina to really compensate for that. So, like I said, um, I'm gonna elaborate on a different video with Tyler's Defender. But next up with uh my Hall of Fame badges, I have Worm, and uh Worm helps a lot for the offensive rebounds. No lot like Lee. Yes, my guards are not shooting too well, and it does happen. I'm able to get the offensive rebound and just get them second chance points and so forth. And Lee, I'm just able just to move people. Just like crash the boards, move people out the way, get the rebound, kick it back out, or go up with a putback. So that's the bonus for that. Next up with uh, my badges is Pogo Stick. Everybody knows how Pogo Stick is. Very uh, useful, powerful badge. Basically, if I do make a mistake on defense, I jump at somebody, especially if they got Dream Shake, I'm able to recover a little bit faster and just get back on defense and not jump again. That's all, all that is. People talk about get rid of uh, Pogo Stick. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to depend on a badge like that. 
I'm going to use it though, so <laughs> besides from that. Next up is uh, Intimidator, probably the most powerful badge in the game. Everybody knows how Intimidator it is. Like, I, all I got to do is stand next to you. You're going to miss a shot. You're going to miss a layup. You're going to miss a dunk. That's really all that is. Pretty much a powerful, just OP badge, I guess. <laughs> and lastly for my badges um, is uh, Brick Wall. And as of recently, Brick Wall has been just ridiculous. Very, very powerful badge. Uh, Lee, all I gotta do is just sit there, let my guard dance around my screen, and Lee, the person who's receiving, who's getting screened, is gonna have a terrible time. That's literally all that is, man. <laughs> it's just, it's a ridiculous badge. I think it does need a little bit tuned down, but it is what it is, man. But besides from that, y'all, um, hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Hope you enjoyed the showcase. And uh, stay tuned for some videos. The reason I've been kind of slacking here and there is just, uh, I've just been just itching to get my hands on next gen, trying to get a pre order for PS5. Let me know if y'all do get your pre orders. Y'all the lucky ones. Besides from that, man, I'm not going to ramble too much. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace out.